it hit me like a ton of bricks. Jeff Annis was a healthy 48-year-old man with no family history of cancer, but he knew what it looked like having worked at the Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center. So three years ago, when he was feeling tired, his wife suggested he see a doctor, and prostate cancer was the last thing on his mind. A quick exam and uh, said, well, uh, I found a lump. Uh, it wasn't even the realm of possibility that that would happen. And of course, my wife, she took it very hard at that point. Uh, anytime you hear the word cancer, it's a very scary thing. It's a disease that killed 30,000 men nationwide last year. Jeff spent 18 months trying non-traditional treatments. When he finally returned to CBCC and following a third biopsy, he was told his cancer was turning aggressive and he was out of time. I initially had a dose of, uh, of radiation to my chest and then that was immediately followed up with um, hormone therapy. By the time he was done, 28 treatments in all, including radioactive seeds that were implanted to kill the cancer. His final treatment was in October of last year, and he's been in remission ever since. It's so critical that you pick it up early, and if you pick it up early, your cure rate goes up. Jeff has always been into muscle cars, so when he began his treatment, his wife bought him a 72 Chevy Nova that needed work. Today, Jeff and the Nova are looking good. It's, it was really a lot of fun. My, my sons helped me with it, and uh, now we're, we're pretty much done with it, and I drive it to work every day. Jeff documented his journey with a video, looking back on different stages of his treatment and recovery. It's a journey made possible by a moment of discomfort. They're going to do the rectal exam, make you miserable, but pick up your cancer. The Comprehensive Blood and Cancer Center is offering free prostate screening this Saturday from 10 until 1. Give them a call to find out if you qualify. Mike Hart, 23ABC.